the new world record in solving Rubik's Cube was set by a 9-year-old boy Yan Wen from China. He solved the puzzle in 4.69. And now we're going to show you how a little genius did it. You might think he was lucky enough to do it once in 4.69, but no, this is the average result after 5 attempts. The child sold the cube 5 times in a row, and of those 5 results, the average result was 4.69. Now I'm going to show you every of his attempts, and we're going to analyze what he saw and what he did to set an incredible world record at his 9. So, the first attempt. Whoa. This is how the cube was scrambled during his first attempt. The first thing I see here is a large number of blocks. Here is a ready-made pair of uh, blue, red, white. Here is a large block of uh, three parts. Uh, they are next to each other. I will try to do it as quickly as possible and then we will see how Yan Wen solved it. Well, I definitely want to set a world record. Twelve forty-four. This is my average time. And now let's see how uh, Yan Wen coped uh, with uh, the same scramble. But we're not going to do it on a normal cube. We're going to do it on a big one like this because that's what a normal cube looks like in his kid's hands, and it will be more visible. He began to solve from the yellow cross. So we keep uh, the yellow down and uh, his movements started from uh, this position of the cube. So he began to solve the cross with these movements. At the same time he made uh, these movements to prepare the right position down there and to save this detail. He then uh, put uh, this detail in its place. And then he turned uh, the top side back and uh, he had uh, this block that he was going to use. When he put it in its place, he saw this block and uh, it will be perfectly placed next to its rib. So uh, we will have X cross. But before that, he must place uh, the last rib of the cross. The cross is sold. Uh, before putting it in its place, he made U to save uh, this pair for the next movement. This is the movement uh, that puts uh, the first pair in place, so he got X cross. Next uh, he put uh, this pair in place, uh, there's nothing difficult. After that he noticed uh, this edge right in front of him. The corner of this rib is in the back and the boy made some incredible moves, I think. With that double movement he placed uh, the pair together then he kept it, turned it like this, and with a double movement, he put it down. I never do that, especially in the back left, because I just wouldn't notice everything that's going on there. So he has already solved three pairs, one is left in the back. You need to turn the cube and uh, solve it in the simplest way. I think each of us solved it this way. But then he acted very unusual. I have never seen this kind of algorithm. At least uh, such finger tricks. He made U and then a really unusual move. He lowered two edges, turned this face up, made a soon, U and returned back. Such an interesting OLL and all that remains for him to do is wipe on. That's it, the solvent is brilliant and at the same time so simple, I certainly couldn't do it so good. I explained it to you for a few minutes and the boy was able to do it in 4.35 on his first attempt. Let's move on to the second attempt, let's go. After getting the cube for the second time, he saw this situation. Now I'm going to try to solve this and see how much time I need. What comes next will drive you crazy. Twelve 
1256. Well, nothing unusual. But this is what the boy saw and how he solved this scramble in his result will amaze you. He began to solve the white cross from such a position, which is very logical. He started uh, with uh, these movements. U, R prime, F. He already has uh, two pairs of the cross in their place. Then he made a double movement to put the green in its place. You would think uh, he could uh, do it faster by putting red in its place together with green. But he placed the last part in a very special way, because he saw a lot of ready, almost sold pairs. He took it away and placed it like this. Next he made D to solve the cross and U. Then he saw the reverse a 3 mover he planned to do and he did it. But he didn't stop there and uh, he kept turning the right side to take apart this uh, pair. Turned it, got it uh, to a 3 mover stage on the left and made it. Two pairs in its place, there are two more. Next he inserted uh, this pair into the back left slot. The usual 3 mover, again U2 and here his salt pair really awesome, remember this to use this method in your solvings. He made two sexy moves through the front. Then he made an uh, OLL skip and uh, goes to the simplest PLL A perm, which could be done even faster, but he spent time doing uh, this kind of movement. Rotation. Algorithm, the line is closed, the cube is sold. And it took him 3 seconds and 90, 3.9, sub 4, having what I would call a failed PLL. It could be done a few moves faster and without interception. Then it would be a single attempt world record. But this solvent was the best in his average, moving on to the third attempt. Let's look at it, it's also interesting. <laughs> this is the scramble he got during his third attempt. Now I'm going to try to solve it as quickly as possible. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, it works! We should use it during the competition. Oh, slightly mistaken in the end, but I did it in the same 12 seconds. Nothing unusual. Let's see what unusual things did Yan Wen in his third attempt. The first thing I noticed, and he noticed too, was uh, the sold white orange blue pair that he kept on the back left. At the same time, he made uh, this movement to solve the white blue part of the cross. Next, he needed to solve uh, these uh, two pieces and this is uh, quite simple. He brought uh, the orange uh, back, but uh, we remember that uh, there's a pair. He raised it up uh, this way and uh, inserted it into the back left slot before solving the cross. After that it remained uh, to put in place one piece of the cross. And for some reason he did it that way. Next, after the rotation, he immediately made this 3 mover. Really simple pair. After that, I would definitely made that pair, but he somehow noticed uh, these two details and did the following. U, R, U prime, R prime, sold the pair in this way and inserted it in a bag. And already there, he sold uh, this pair in a quite usual way. After the rotation he inserted it. And he had a fairly simple OLL, which he did in a rather complicated way. He turned it towards himself uh, not the way we used to, uh, this side or, or uh, this side, but uh, with this block towards himself and uh, did the following. R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F, R. Very simply, remember this algorithm and use it. And then he has U perm. I would make this U-perm uh, right from this position. But for some reason he made uh, this algorithm. 
turned the black towards himself and uh, did this. That's it, the cube is solved and he solved it in 441, also an amazing result. Let's go to the fourth, the decisive solving in this average. I hope you have already scrambled the cube, I've already done it, let's try to do the fourth solvent of this world record. Let's see what will happen. It looks complicated, at least for me. Thirteen seventy-five, a little worse. In general, he also did a little worse. Let's take a look at his attempt. Need to scramble it. Honestly, when I see these scrambles, I know it's a disaster. In the fourth solving, he purposefully ignored that block and started to solve from this position. Although it is very difficult solution, but he solved it with the method that I usually solve – simple scrambles. But there is one trick. First, he put uh, these two details. Next, uh, made his favorite UD for the third time in a row. And uh, put a red edge in place with only one move. He has one edge left. He saw that it is already paired with the corner. So, uh, he moved uh, this edge to make an X cross. He did it this way. R, U. Here they are, two pieces. So, U and D. X cross was solved. Then he solved the second pair. Rotated the cube like that. And he solved uh, this pair in the most normal way. I think each of us would do the same. He made a U prime. He solved that pair. And then he did something really incredible, reducing the number of his movements. He put this pair like this. Next, without stopping the movement, he split it into a three mover. Here it is. It remained only to put it in its place. And then he got an incredibly simple algorithm. And that's where the disaster began. He made the wrong moves. I don't know what he wanted to do, but he did RU, realized that he did something wrong, put it all back, did this kind of move and did the usual algorithm. He made four extra moves and spent precious time. But it's not over yet. Then he saw the A perm, which could be done very quickly and easily. And then, somehow, after rotating the cube like this, he did the next thing. I don't know what it is, just look. I've never seen such an A perm, but the cube is solved. Despite the fact that he made some unnecessary moves, panicked, clumsily made the last algorithm, this solving was still very fast. 5.31, and after this attempt he has already 100% set a new world record. By the way, the next solving will be the worst of his attempts, but at this point it's a new world record. I can't even imagine what it would have been if he hadn't lost it in this attempt. Just imagine this. And we're moving on to the next fifth last solving in this average. The fifth scramble is already in my hands. Scramble your cubes, guys, and solve them together with me. Let's go. Thirteen, twelve. I took my time, but uh, the cube is still solved. Let's see how uh, the boy uh, solved uh, this scramble. It was his worst attempt, it doesn't really matter, so, because nevertheless it is interesting to see how he thought and what he did. He started with this position to solve the yellow cross. First he did that, and he had two parts of the cross 
put in their place. There's another one, but he didn't touch it. He decides uh, to do his favorite movements, UD. I don't know why he did so, uh, maybe I should use this technique more often in my solvents. Then he put green in his place, according to orange and red. And then he wants to make uh, this X cross. He saw a corner like this and uh, the edge like this. He put uh, the edge in its place uh, like that. Then he did U for some reason and then he put it back. Uh, then he made uh, this double movement and with the last movement he solved uh, the cross and uh, X cross. By the way, I noticed that he constantly inserts X cross in the back right slot. I don't know what the reason is, but it happens every time. Then he solved uh, this pair. Then uh, for some reason he did U2 instead of the usual U and uh, put it in its place. After that he made this elegant fat D prime move and inserted three mover in a back. And uh, one, not the simplest pair, is left. Uh, there he made a mistake. He took it out, then makes L, returns L, then again makes L, U, L prime, U prime, L, U2, and inserts. A little last here, of course, but nevertheless, uh, next a very simple short OLL with white color and again he got the same algorithm as a few times before. He made uh, such a rotation and moved on. Next he made a mistake, returned uh, back. The cube was solved in 6.16. As I said, the worst solving. It doesn't matter, because still we have a new world record, 4.69 average time. As you can see, if there were a little less mistakes, a little more luck, it could be even faster. Guys, be sure to try your 5 attempts on the same scrambles and write your results down in the comments. It will be interesting to know how fast you can cope with it. Maybe some of you will be very close to a new world record. Guys, if you want to solve a Rubik's Cube as fast as I do, watch my video tutorial on how to solve 3x3. Millions of people have already watched it and learned. At the end of the video, I want to say that if such a child genius appeared in the world of Speedcuban, then very soon we will see new world records. It's been a long time since the single was updated, so we're waiting from Yan Wen, our new little champion, to set new single world record. We will definitely analyze it on this channel and you can subscribe and watch other videos dedicated to Rubik's Cubes and other puzzles. That was Cubastic, bye everyone and have a good time!